What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Wes, Human Crack in the Flesh, and this is Kick from Wes. Welcome back to the channel. And yes, if this is your first time watching, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Come join the community, be part of the family. Like always, we're welcome to have you. Welcome back to a new My Top 7 Sneakers of the Week. This make number 31. So I hope everybody had a wonderful weekend. It is Monday, back to the work week. So without further ado, let's get into the new My Top 7 Sneakers of the Week. And to kick things off for Monday, I went ahead and brought out the shoe that I've been wearing for a couple of days now, tested it out, see how it uh, is on foot, the comfort, and all that. And that video is going to be coming up too later on this week here, the comparison uh, video of the Nike Epic React versus the Ultra Boost. Which one is more comfortable? Does this shoe compete with the Ultra Boost? What's your thoughts? What's your opinions? How do you feel about this shoe? To me, I love this shoe. It's a good shoe. It's a comfortable shoe. Um, one bad thing I would say about it is if it's cold, yeah, man, you better put some warm socks on because this fly net material is going to have your feet cold. But other than that, man, I like this shoe a lot. No complaints, but just that one there, man. So, yeah, Monday shoe. <clears throat> now, switching over to Tuesday. I was still in the comfort zone, still uh, putting on shoes that was about comfort. And Tuesday's shoe is going to be something that's very dope to me. And I want to pick up another pair in a different colorway. I'm just waiting to see what Nike is going to do and what other colorways they're going to put out. Tuesday's shoe is going to be Nike Vapor Max Plus, man. Such a dope shoe, man. Such a clean shoe. <clears throat> And the only bad thing I got to say about this shoe right here, man, is the price point. Y'all heard me say this a bunch of times. Bring this price down. Please, Nike, bring this price down. And that's going to be Tuesday's shoe. Now, heading over to Wednesday, I went ahead and grabbed something that I haven't worn in a minute. Um, probably been about almost a good two months. And that shoe was going to be... The Venom 10s. Another dope shoe, another clean shoe. Had this in the collection for a couple of years now and it's still holding up well. See some creases, the little creases right here, but in the tote bags area, they still holding up, man. I always use the shoe trees that come with the shoe. I cut them, cut them out, and then I put them right here and it gives me some protection versus buying those uh, the hard plastic ones that everybody like promoting and, and like using. The ones that come with the shoe, perfectly fine. It don't hurt your feet, you know what I mean? And if you're lucky enough to connect with maybe a manager or something and shoot uh, at the outlet or something like that there, you could probably get you yourself some extra ones just to have from when the ones in the shoe actually give out. Now, switch your things over to Wednesday Correction, Thursday. Thursday I went out, you know what I mean? Wanted to enjoy myself, had a couple of drinks, and I went ahead and pulled out the Royal Ones, man. Good quality leather. Look at that booty. That's gonna be Thursday's shoe. Now for Friday, I went ahead and grab and grab <laughs> and grab um, a shoe that that's uh, the first one that I actually purchased in this model here. When I seen it, I had to have it. I thought it was such a dope concept. Um, the design of the shoe, everything that has to do with the shoe, was just so dope to me, and I just had to have it. So Friday is gonna be the Nike SB Chicken and Waffles. And this is a dope shoe, man. I like how they did this shoe. Word up. You got your um, your syrup dripping down right there on your Nike check. Going going all the way around to, to the back of the shoe. To the other side of the Nike check. The shoe got the waffle print. They did come with um, extra laces. This is the brown pair here. I know on camera it does look black, but this is dark brown. And they came with a, uh, a light brown 
same uh, uh, same exact colorway of of the shoe, and then can't go wrong with the gum bottoms, man. I mean, mine's a little bit dirty, but yeah, I wear my shoes, so it's gonna be dirty. That's for Friday. Now, this is the first time is making um, my top seven sneakers of the week, and that's gonna be Gatorade Sixes. Once again, another dope shoe, another clean shoe, and they did one hell of a job with this here. Look at that inside. I like the details on the shoe. Got your, uh, the Jumpman Gatorade uh, shoelace, lock lace. You know. Now, I will say, this ain't the most comfortable shoe in the world, but. Know what I mean? It is what it is. I enjoy wearing it. Saturday, man. Now, for Sunday, last but not least, it was something that I just wanted to pull out. I was just like, hey, let me see. Now, I want to wear these. And that is going to be Sunday shoot. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> Joy and Retro 1, Metallic Red. And I need to get the metallic blues just to complete the set. Simple colorway, red and white, easy to match. Got these for the low. Got it for $89.98 to be exact. <laughs> Got them for the low low. And they retail that 160 bucks. So this was the time where a lot of Jordan shoes were sitting on the shelves and a lot of Jordan shoes was making their way to the outlets. Being though that it's the new year and they're trying to scare everybody with this tactic that shoes, all, all shoes are going to sell out and be limited now. But we, we're going to see so far some shoes have sold out and some shoes, you know what I mean, have been sitting, but they haven't reached outlets yet. So we see how the year continue on. But yeah, man. This is going to be Sunday's shoe. That is going to wrap it up for this My Top 7 Sneakers of the Week. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And like I stated before, if you have not subscribed yet, go hit, go hit that subscribe button. Come join the community. Be part of the family. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I post videos. And if you like this video, go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. It do help the channel out and I would appreciate it a lot. So, it's your boy Wes, Human Crack in the Flesh. This is Kicks from Wes, and everybody have a blessed one, man. I'm out. Peace. And higher and higher. In this world, it's suppliers and buyers. On the streets, it's corruption and violence. We not just disturbing the peace, we disrupting the silence. Yeah. In the field of solid niggas and liars. Yeah. In this world, it's suppliers and buyers. Yeah. Nigga, you copping or do you got it?